Yeah. Well, I've got someone who's junior there that normally comes here. She's in here on the computer. <laughs> That's uh, fine, I'm feeling like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, brilliant. Uh, let's make a start. Okay, um, actually, I'm going to have to do my jacket up. It's really cold. It is. So, uh, that's better. Have your feet shoulder width apart, lengthen up through the spine, take some slow, deep breaths. So, fabulous. So, single hips. Have your knees in line with the toes. And just take a few slow, deep breaths. Just allow the head to float up and the weight to sink down. So gently breathe in and breathe out. So um, I will be um, a bit of a I will be keeping the at least for the first month of the new year, just because we have some people that come here that don't want to come here because of the bugs, so they're coming on the computer instead, so they can still be part of it. But there will be a separate Zoom class on a Tuesday morning, so we'll, we'll be doing, um, from next year we'll be starting to learn the form again. Uh, just because we were we were learning it, let's just start. We were learning it before the pandemic started, and we were starting to get somewhere. And then we had to stop for ages and go on Zoom. Um, so I would like to resurrect learning the form, um, but just because we've got a few people that come to Ely, but at the moment because of all the uncertainty, prefer it on on the computer. I'd rather have all the Ely people together, even if they're just on the computer. So I will keep that going for a bit. But eventually they'll be separated. But, uh, I mean, hopefully, if we've all been quadruple jabbed, we should be fine, shouldn't we? But, yeah. So... And um, then hopefully from next year, I'll be able to use the headset again, because like, you can get your own separate sponge. So I'm not having to project my voice. That would be nice. Yeah, so much easier. Yeah. And I'd like to have the music back again as well. So yeah. uh, we'll see. So nice and tall. So next week, Carmela's teaching this class. Um, because I'm hopefully in Sweden, but we'll... And, uh, <laughs> so, we've got, we got, we got three people on the computer, that's good. That's not bad. I'm not sure if they're the fit in here. Maybe we can get three more. It's a good turnout today. I'm impressed. So have the head floating. Have the hips sinking. Shall I risk taking? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Have the hips sinking. And we're, we're all breathing. Notice the breath as it comes in and out. Notice your posture. Notice what you are sensing. So we'll, we'll whiz through the 18 set because we've pretty much learned it now. So we'll be, we'll be learning new things next year. And then... Um, Oh, 
I spent Tuesday um, learning with Corella and Evan Scuba. And we, we did a whole load of standing on one leg exercises and they were really good. So we're, we're going to try some of the, um, what I learned. And we also did a little bit of the punching and it's very cold. So uh, we'll do a little bit of punching today as well, just for fun. So just keep your legs stable. So yeah. So you know, if, if anyone's coming here and has got the sniffles or whatever, they've got the option of doing it on Zoom. So you can still be here, but from your from your lounge. So if you can work computers. Keep breathing some more. Very good. Okay. Very nice. And then raise the arms up. Now, when you're doing this one, make sure your knees are in line with your toes. So check your knees are relatively still. Open the palms. Nice and tall. Okay, relax the shoulders. But we'll do bounce and shake. So I'll just show you that from the side. So your, your feet, the springs in your feet, draw the toes in so that you activate the arches of the foot. And we're just moving. So yeah, we got we got this week and next week, and then we come back on the 6th of January. So we have two weeks off as per usual. Well, as usual as you can get in our current situation. So, you know. So, I won't be going to any parties. I know. I really think I had that. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. So, I, that's all I will say about that matter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was bounce. How are we doing with that? Yeah, bounce is good. Okay, now we do shake. So I'm still getting into shape, but it's quite... So we're gonna generate some heat. Okay, back to bounce. So we'll just whiz through the loosening exercises. So you wanna use your, I'll just go over here, you wanna use your legs. Well, that's better. I did have the slightly posher camera, but I left the tripod in London, so... Uh, <laughs> That's why I'm having to use that. You can still see me here. So we're doing this. How are we doing? Yeah. How are we doing at the back? Okay. Use your legs a bit more. And just allow your arms to drop with gravity. We are. Okay. Now turn around the elbow so that the palms are up and out. You wanna, you wanna be nice. So, in the improvers class in Burwell, we've been learning complicated things. So I will, because we've got some improver level people here. I'm going to throw in some complicated things for fun and everyone can join in, but I'll also do things that aren't complicated that everyone can join in as well. But it's good to have a mixture. So tricky movements are useful because um, they exercise your brain. So they're worth doing. So let me turn around. Okay, exercise number one. I'm glad the bad winters came back. It was here really quiet last week. So you transfer your weight and turn. Transfer your weight and turn. I'll show you that from the side. So it. 
and you want to breathe in and breathe out and then repeat. So we're all. Keep breathing some more. Okay, relax the palms of the hands. So, you want to use the momentum of your body to get the arms to move. Okay, for fun, let's do some slow motion version. So, this is it in slow motion. You come up. You transfer your weight, you turn the waist, one hand goes across the front, one hand goes across the back. You come up, you transfer the weight, and you turn. So imagine you've got your silk suit on, you've got the fans with the cherry blossom being dropped, and the video team, and you know, there we are. Okay, now we can do it slow. Now do it a bit quicker. Put the momentum in. See if that, that's better. Yeah, well done, everybody. That's great, right? You've all passed. <laughs> um, keep breathing. So. Okay, four more. Four, three. Two, and one. So we're going to be moving around a lot today because it's, it's too cold to stay still, really. So we just, oh. So. This one's really good if you're in a, you've just got out of your car because they've shut the road because of the snow. And just before you go off and find a different way back south, you think, oh, I know, I'll do a bit of loosening. Brilliant. And it just, oh, it's very relaxing. And um, daily life training, training in daily life. You, know, you might be in the supermarket queue. Very good. You can just do that. See if you can get the whole queue to do it. Um, that would be great. That would be great. <laughs> well, there was uh, a class Mike taught at the U3A in Cambridge, and he was talking about how to push a shopping trolley the Tai Chi way, and then they all go to Wait Rose and then go and have a cup of coffee somewhere, the whole, the whole gang of them. And then while they're all in Wait Rose, there was about 10 of them, they all did the shopping trolley. How to do Tai Chi, you know, the really slowly and caused a little stir. So, you know, you might want to follow soon. Oh. Okay, let's do Barry's one, because it's still cold. So what you do is you make a fist, you close your fingers and put the thumbs over the top, but the middle finger, you want to press into your now gong point. Press into your now gong point. So, and then what we do, I'll show you from the diagram. We punch up and then we let go. And then we punch up and then we let go. And, then, and be quite, you know. Five, six, seven, we'll do 20. Eight, that's it. Nine, imagine you're really happy about something. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, Barry says we're supposed to do 40. If you're practicing this at home, you do 40. But anyway, let's uh, carry on.
keep breathing. And just sink the hips. Notice the breath as it comes in and out. Notice the contact with your feet. Much better, everyone. If all the especially you know the people here, because we we started again and we had to stop again, and then we then we came back again. So we've, it's been a bit of a considering we've had sort of inter, you know interruptions and stuff. We, we've done all right this year, I think. We're all moving more smoothly. Notice the breath, that's it. So use your waist, use your waist to move the arm. So it's this, this turning here that gets, the, that gets the arms to move and change. Okay. Oh. We'll come back. We'll do some more ones that are good for warming up people. Let's do. Uh, let's look at the legs. So we'll yeah we'll kick out to the front. Go one, two, three, four, five, six. You can have the hands up. We can have the we can do a chorus line. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Out to the corners. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Across the corners. One, like you're in the chorus line. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And two, two, three. You can bring your pom poms next year. Five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, hamstrings. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, tap the sides of the ankles. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Kick the leg forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then let's do a kick with right leg and kick with left leg as a warming up and helping our balance exercise. So demonstration, you transfer your weight, you go to cat start, you lift the hands, you kick, you come back, you go down. One, two, three, four, five, Six, good effort. Seven, and one more, eight. Oh, that's right. Hopefully that's woken our legs up a bit. Let's do this one. So you, you go like this, you turn, turn a bit more, you come down in the middle, you turn, you turn a bit more, you come down in the middle. Okay, we'll carry on. Got it. So this is one of Barry McGinley's warm-up exercises. He's quite tough. He's still going to the Lido a few times a week without a wetsuit on and then practicing his kung fu along the side of the swimming pool. So ugh. Oh. 
breathing small, very nice. Okay, one more time. Each, um, yeah, one more time each side. Okay, I think that was the last one. Yeah. Okay, the middle one. The middle one, you do just like this. You go like that, you do a smaller one, and then you do a big one, like you're bursting out of a Christmas cake, and then, there we go. Right, I think we've got that. So we go one, two, three. Remember when you hear a sound, check your posture. Three, one, two, three. So we've got some sounds thoughtfully provided by the bad vintage. So remember, check your posture every time you hear a sound. And then once more we're feeling, that's it. Oh, I'm warming up, this is good. Okay, next one. This one I like, this is my favorite part of the exercise. You transfer your weight, you turn, you raise the heel, and then you go like this, and it's a square. So the hands are like, like that, that's it. That's it, everybody. And then you come back, and then you come up really elegant and graceful like you're a beautiful swan or something like that. And then you come back, you turn, and then you go one, two, oh, and then we come down, that's it. We go down and you pierce your hands into, I don't know, lemon meringue or tofu, or you imagine you're piercing your fingers into something or what, uh, what else we got? Walnut or something, like, I don't know, whatever you eat at Christmas. All right, here we go. One, two, three. There we go, that's it. So you imagine your fingers are piercing into, or maybe soft, sticky mud. You're going like that. And then fling the mud off. There we go. Yeah. This is my favourite part of this exercise. I think it's lovely, actually. Very good for your chest. Now, if you are doing this one in the supermarket, be careful of other people. Yeah, don't, you know, fling everything off. Okay, one more time each side. Marvellous. Fab. Okay, have a little shake out. So stretch up, stretch down, make a fist, turn it over, keep the legs. Then we come back. One down, one up, stretch, keep the stretching on the arm. Okay. okay, hands on the hips, circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Other direction. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Feet together, hands on the knees, circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice and tall. One. So, bird spreads its wings. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice. Polishing the table and go. We'll do eight these. One. Two. Three. 
Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Back. And then Ken waves its wings. This one's a nice and extended, usual waist, usual legs. That's it. So forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Seven. Use your body weight. And then the other side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Notice what you're sensing. Seven. And eight. Okay, this time we'll go. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, good. Seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other way. Up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, run forward, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, rolling back, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, over and under, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Um, oh yeah. Let's do dragon serves teacups. That's one. That's a bit of a tricky one. So we're going to do five each side, and then we're going to do ten consecutive demonstration. So if you're getting a nice horse start, your horse can be smaller. And we go like this, we go one. So we'll do five this side. Oh, you've all got it. And then five, okay. That's not bad, all right. Let's do 10 and then I'll demonstrate them again. And then we'll do 10 more, but we'll do it consecutive. I'll turn round, okay. So I'm starting this side first. Okay, ready and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Nine and ten. Okay, let me demonstrate again. Very easy. Okay, we're going to do ten slow ones. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, So it's getting this bit, it's the tricky bit. So you turn your waist. If you go back to this one. So you turn your waist, you turn your waist. So that's the first bit and then it goes that way. So it's, actually, we'll, there you go. So it's that way, then that way. It goes towards, then away, goes towards, then away, right. Okay, we'll do 10 slow ones. Okay, uh, we'll start with this one first, so we'll start with this one. 
Okay, here we go. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. So don't spill the mulled wine. Two, three, four, five. Eight, two, three, four, five, nine, two, three, four, five, ten, two, three, four, five. Nice. Have a little shake out. Okay, we'll finish off with the spiral wave thing. So I'll just show that, and we're gonna like this. One, two, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's do two more. Nine and ten. And then when Barry goes in the other direction, what he does is he goes all the way down with his hands like that and does it that way. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then, oh yeah, we'll do a little, little, little bit of head turning, just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eight. Okay, let's have a. Um, if anyone needs a water break or anything, just grab it when you need one. We're going to go through the 18 set and um, ten, 10 minutes for 10 to because you've got to go to football. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll go through the 18 set and then do some walking and. Uh, Do make sure you keep hydrated if you can. Okay, so check your posture. Nice and relaxed. Let's go through the 18. I think we've got it pretty much cracked, so we'll leave it for a bit. Uh, and do start something new in the new year and then at some point every now and then we'll come back to it and just look at little bits because you know there's always room for improvement so nice and tall just gently breathe in gently breathe out and begin. so we won't do too many repetitions i'll just do One more time. Okay, change movement two. Open the chest. Come up. Open the chest. Back. Back. That's it. Up. Open. Back. One more. Dance the rainbow. So the other day I was driving from Exning to the A14 and it was raining 
and the sun was shining and I've got this double rainbow, it's beautiful, really nice. So imagine a beautiful double rainbow. Very good everybody, yep. So keep the connection, keep the curve shape in the arms. One more time, each side, that's great, okay. Part the clouds, so just come up. Oh, use your breathing. Notice what you are sensing. One more. Rolling arms. Keep breathing. One more each side. Row in the boat to the middle of the lake. So watch your posture on this. You fold at the hips and you sink the hips to come back upright. Good one, it exercises the legs. And make sure you're lengthening through the spine. Lengthening through the spine, so that's it. Okay, one more time. <clears throat> nice and tall. Bouncing the ball up in front of the shoulder, so. And change. Cow gazes at the moon. Deep dream. And then one more each. Sight. See you next year. We'll see you next year. I mean, they, we've got one more week, but I'll be away. But it's fine. Nice. Oh, it's gone really quiet now. Don't know what to do. And then um, transfer the weight and turn. And then this comes around. And then you come back and you transfer the weight and turn. Oh, lovely, look at that, aren't we good? So we just, so it's like, you know, you might be at Christmas dinner and someone says, would you like another mid pine had to? And you can go the Tai Chi way, no, it's okay, I've already eaten six. And then it's all right, so you can do it the Tai Chi way, infusing things, very, very soft, you know, outside the softness of cotton, inside the tongue yeah. We are marvellous. And one more. So that's the no mince pie move. Okay, I would like this. Well, I like to keep it topical, you know. So from January, it'll be the Easter eggs, so. And then we wave hands like clouds, so. 
So the way the professor does his wave hands like clouds, he has it like that. But the, there's other ways of doing it. But I prefer this way, actually. I was doing it like this last night, much nicer. But whatever works. So you want to sink the hips and make sure your knees are in line with the toes, which means they're happy ones. And one more time inside. That is beautiful, everybody. Very nice. Even, even those of you doing the variations, they look amazing. So it's, it's fine. Okay. Um, let's do the mic version of pigeon spreads its wings and pushing away. But what we'll do first is we'll do scooping the sea, looking up at the sky. So here we go. Scoop the sea, look up at the sky. One. Two. So you're using your, your weight, feel the weight transfer. One more time. And then do that on the other side so we've got a matching, matching pair. One. We want to make our legs match. Two. Keep breathing for five. One more. Very good. Okay, so next, pushing ways, we'll do the old style. So you sink back, bring the hands like this. Now keep the feet flat on the floor this time and just push up and then you come back. Push up. So you want to keep a bend in the in the other. This is more like what we do in the 24 step, which is what I will be starting next week. Very good. Uh, next week, next year. <laughs> yeah, I'll be yes. yeah. Okay, now change. One more time. Okay, pigeon spreads its wings. So sink back, sink forward, and come up that way. So this is a variation. And it, it keeps the feet flat. So you really feel that weight transfer. Come back. And then change sides, and then on the, when we finish the next one, it will be 10 too. So when we finish this one, so, but do the other leg, otherwise it'll be wonky at football. Beth's <laughs> got football. Don't ever get in her way when she's on her way to the goal. You know, don't. <laughs> Terrified. There we go. And then we... See ya. Thanks for coming. And um, one more time. Right, so next is Hi. See you next see you soon, Beth. And then next is punching with focus gaze. So we'll just carry on. So so you want to practice your sleepy tiger eyes, you know, like you can. So check your posture. And one more. Fat. Okay. Flying wild goose. So just being not a great time of year for geese, is it? And then down.
but really, really good for um, like in Norfolk when they're flying over in their V formation. Really think so. Man, actually, we should have gone in a V, but never mind. We'll do that next time. There we go. One more time. That is lovely, everybody. Okay, and then rotating like a flying wheel. So I'll just get get in this posture first. So get get nice, nice and comfortable. That's it. And we'll go go that direction first. So we just we just. So try and keep connected. So you want to feel that the whole of the body is engaged in the movements. Feel the weight transfer. Make sure your knees are in line with the toes and are very happy. And then go in the other direction. So, uh, yeah, on Tuesday night I went to class and we did a lot of um, stepping and footwork and stuff. But, uh, One more of these. Okay, penultimate movement, bouncing the ball while marching. But we'll, we'll do it a bit slow today. So you transfer your weight, you come up, down, and then there's the extra one. Up. Great. I can see this one's still got potential, hasn't it? Never mind. Just do your best. You know, it's the taking part that counts. All, you are all achieving. Yeah. I've done my teacher training. Constructive use of praise or something. I can't remember what it was. I just, you know. So it was mainly with Eva. So she'll do a move with us. And then we'll get to the move and then she'll go, well done, everybody. And you just feel great. And we were... Not quite what she was doing, but it doesn't matter. So, okay, try a bit, now put a bit of bounce in, try a bit, you know. So when, when the professor does it, he has this sort of slightly, you know. Uh, feel a bit more jolly, everybody, come on. Okay. Right, one more time, I think we better put the move down. Very good. <laughs> okay, here we go. And we just, so we've done, I think we've got, I think we've all improved and we can all do it, can't we? Well. Oh. Actually, I like this move so much, I'm going to do three more because it's such a great move. <laughs> and one more. Marvellous. Right, I think we've cracked it, which is good. So we've been trying to do this for a year. That's not bad, is it? Really? Oh, we better bow because we've reached the end of the floor. Right, okay, let's. Um... Okay, let's do part of Wild Horse's main health exercise. I will demonstrate that and then we'll do we'll do some of the complicated things for fun. My fun. So I'll just demonstrate. So it goes like this: you transfer the weight and you part the wild horse's mane, and this pushes up and this comes down. And then you come across, and then you hold the ball, and then you come across again. Okay. Right, and then what I'll do, I'll turn round, because now you've seen the arms, that is now indelibly in your memory, isn't it? And then we'll, we'll just, so we'll start this side a bit. So, see the hips, part of our time to 
two, hold the ball three, bring it across the ball. One, two, hold the ball three, across the ball. One, two, three, four. One, two, How are we doing? Now I can't see what anyone's doing. There we are. Okay. Now remember, wild horses, you were being wild horse. So this is associated with metal, apparently, the element metal. So I was asking about that in last night's club. But not all the moves from the 24 step are associated with the elements of the organ system. So we just, right, you want your hands light and soft. But imagine you're moving through water. That's nice. One more time each side, beautiful. Okay, have a little shake out. The next move we're gonna do, um, we've not done for a while, but it's a very nice one. It's called Push Away the Mountain. And you imagine a, so I'll show you this. I'll, what I'll do is I will stick with the facing because I think you do need to be able to see the arms on that one. You'll just have to work out if you're mirroring how it works. That's all part of the test. So you stroke down the giraffe's neck. You turn, now this hand is palm up, this hand is palm out. You go like that. Now this hand becomes the long arm. This hand becomes the bendy arm. So you turn towards the bendy arm, uh, you turn towards the long arm, you turn towards the bendy arm, and then you push away the mountain. And then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, push away the mountain. So if you're pushing away the mountain, you wanna have good posture, you wanna keep structural integrity. So when you push, it's the mountain that moves and not you. Excellent, here we go. Go one, two. And then you wanna have a more sage-like expression on your face. Long arm first, bend the arm. Then push away the mountain. Well done. That's why there are no mountains in Eli, are they? They all got pushed away. Two, three, Four, oh, aren't you beautiful? Five, six, push away that mountain. There we are. One, two, don't worry. You know, some people have swapped round. Long arm first, bend the arm, hands by there, and then push. So this bit, just so you remember things, this is a bit if you fancy yodeling, you know, and then you push away the mountain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. It's good, isn't it? Very good. Okay, next one is called three circles. Um, we start like this. This one's a bit tricky, but we'll just do it for fun. There's one, first circle, second circle, third circle. There we are. One, two, even more tricky to do on a computer screen, isn't it, Zoom people? <laughs> That'll teach you. And three. There we are. One. It's easy. What are you moaning about? Two. Three. Turn the waist. Turn the waist. Turn the waist. Turn the waist. Well, one of the more advanced people said, I'd like to learn some more complicated things. I said, all right, how's that? Ha! Good. Be careful what you wish for. There we are. That was very good effort, everybody. You all look amazing. One more time each side, this is good. Keep breathing, keep breathing, and then there we are. Fab. 
Okay, and then for our grand finale, uh, let's do a bit of, oh, I'll have to turn around here. Just do that. Let's do a bit of white tackle with the screws. Last time we did. Sorry for those who have not had a bit of a way. Excellent. It's better than the chair. It's better than the chair. So just do it. So right hand on top of the hand. Good. It's much quieter without the badminton, isn't it? Have you noticed? Know and then embrace the tiger, return to the mountain. So, so Carmela will be teaching the face to face class next week, and she's brilliant. Um, and then we'll be back on the 6th of January. Very exciting. Okay, and then make, uh, rub your hands together. And we're going to polish the face. So we look super young before the keep fit class. And then rub the hands together again and give the love back and up. Brilliant. And then Embrace the tide, return to the mountain. So, and what's more, very nice of it, really good. Really good. So, we'll make a fist with the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and bam. Brilliant. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Well done.